Good morning. Welcome to my June 3rd Thursday. This is the day of the month that I try on most months to release a new doll or two and some doll clothing or accessories. I've got one fantastic doll today and she has a, a, a pretty big wardrobe to go with her so she's really special. She's the last one of the Charlesies that I just did. I did three and the other two have been spoken for, um, but fortunate me, they're on layaway, so they're gonna hang out here at the studio with me for a little bit longer, and I get to love them and enjoy them, and then they'll be heading on to their new homes. Also today, I have two lovely little red dresses. This is the last of this fabric. This was the back of a quilt, and I kinda hoarded this red fabric for years, but it seemed appropriate to make it um, into dresses for the 4th of July. So we're in the summer season. We're kind of right here. We're after Flag Day a little bit and right before the 4th of July. But I did want to do a little bit of red, white, and blue. So I have these two dresses. They're to fit a 17 to 19 inch doll. And I'll pop the measurements up on the written descriptions. They're basically the same dress, except for one of them has little short puff sleeves. And these are very tiny, high sleeves. So you would expect your chemise on your doll to be popping out um, under these. And a word about chemises, they were supposed to show. This is not like a 1950s slip where you didn't want your slip strap to show or the lace to peek out under your hem. These little chemises in the mid 1800s on children's clothing, they are supposed to show. So you would expect a little bit of lace and perhaps part of the sleeve from your doll's chemise to, to show there at that short sleeve and even some of the lace around the neckline of the chemise. And over here is the long sleeve version. So those will fit uh, probably the Annas, the Isabos, uh, the I Zanes, the um, Ismays, the Zanas, any of those um, 18 to 19 inch dolls I make and, and chubby little Anna who's a little bit bigger around the middle than, than some of the other little dolls. So these would fit her and all of, all of the others. And then here I have this last sweet Charlesy and she's just She's really wonderful. I love this one. Of course, I said that about all of them because I do love them all. But she's got such a lovely face. And here's a little bit about her wardrobe. She does come with um, a chemise, split pantalettes, and then I uh, she does have a petticoat also. But currently, I am soaking that petticoat in sodium perborate. Uh, I didn't get quite as white and pretty as I wanted it to be. So it's still in the laundry, but she does have a petticoat. And she has a nightgown. This is a sweet little, actually it's a baby's gown, but it fits her beautifully. And to make it look more like a nightgown rather than infant clothing. I did turn it back to front. So this on a baby would normally be the back, but it's the front of her nightgown and the back is very, very, very plain. And I added two tucks to make it, you know, ankle length for her. Whereas on a baby, of course, it would have gone past their little toes. So that's a really sweet little nightgown and it is an antique piece. The only alteration I've done is adding the growth tucks and those will um, come out if you, if you wanted to lengthen it, but it is the perfect size for her right now. Then onto her dresses. She has this gorgeous pink and white woven check, which we call gingham. Now, this type of check is actually a very old fabric. Um, I don't know. We, some of these fabrics that have lasted for a really long time and remained popular and been around, we tend to think of as new, but they're not. Um, they're, just, they're just something that's always been available. Uh, I was at Sturbridge Village earlier this week, and 
I saw this great little late 1820s, early 1830s girl's dress in a pink and white gingham check and it was outstanding. So these fabrics have been around and this is a very old gingham. It's not new. It has a very uh, small selvage to selvage width. It's only 24 inches wide and it's in a lovely really deep pink and it had never been used. So this was old store stock or or more likely something somebody bought and didn't quite get around to using so that's her first dress and her second dress is a beautiful indigo and white print which is just perfect for the fourth of july um, if you'll remember when i took apart the quilt to make the first charles's dress this was part of the quilt it was blue and pink the other thing I'm doing for her, and I'm still in the midst of actually sewing on it, so I'll have to kind of just pull some of the pieces out of the bag here. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, sewing the binding around this apron, but it's a, this is a bibbed apron, and it's two different pink, double pink fabrics. So this is this stripe is the binding and the regular uh, part of the apron is this brighter devil pink and it looks really 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 pretty on here and since this is what I'm doing today I'm posting these things for sale and I'm gonna sit there and hand sew on all this binding for this apron while I keep track of what's happening at the virtual doll convention so that's my plans for the rest of the day so that tells you just a smidge about the fabrics and the clothing. And now I'm going to take a quick break, get her dressed, and let you see what she looks like in some of these things. So we'll be back with another video. And I hope you've enjoyed this sort of more uh, visual, interactive tour of what's available today for June's third Thursday. Thank you. Bye.